Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my second part two of my health chat. If you wanna watch part one, I talk a lot about weight issues and hormonal issues and what I've gone through in the past years and so forth like that. The whole reason I've ever started any type of social media, anything was because I just wanted people to feel better about themselves, that they're not alone, that there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens and sometimes you don't get the answers right away and you have to keep going. So that's what this is about. It's a big one. It's been about four months since I did an update. So I think the last time I did an update would have been the end of May. And now we are almost fall. So it's the end. it's gonna be, it's like mid September right now. Could this coffee mug be any more adorable? Got my coffee and we're gonna begin. So here we go. If you didn't catch my other one, I will link it below. It's a little bit longer, but it's just something like you can even just throw on and like put your headphones in and not even watch it. Just listen to me kind of talk a little bit about it. I find this to be very therapeutic, especially with what I'm going through, but a lot has happened. So I'm gonna start back when I stop the last video. Okay. Oh, also I did this makeup look, but I did it with a really, ooh, 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 hold on one second. I did it with this like gorgeous, like this gorgeous red lip, like this gorgeous red lip. It's almost like a Jean Harlow kind of thing. I, if that's up, I'll link it below. If not, please subscribe. Also, if you do enjoy this video and you enjoy like health updates and health chats and stuff like that, give me a thumbs up because that lets me know that you actually enjoyed it. And it actually helps get my video out there. I know I'm a baby, baby little micro influencer, but it kind of helps a little bit. So, all right, I'm gonna talk. Probably gonna be a long video. Back in May. I had gone and I had finally, I was working with the natural, with more, I was working with the naturopath and I had went and got and paid a crap ton of money for this blood work. She analyzed it through a different system that she used with her mentor and it showed a lot of different things. It showed that like my liver wasn't working. I had some kind of infection in my spleen. My thymus was messed up. My thyroid was angry, whatever. I went with everything that I bought, everything that she had told me to buy. It was very expensive, probably the most expensive thing I've, most bo, most expensive vitamins I've ever bought in my entire, oh, sit up. Some of the most expensive vitamins I've ever bought in my entire life. I don't have that kind of money, but I did it because I thought I would feel better. And I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna feel really good. She gave me a ton of vitamins. So I started taking them. I felt okay the first week. Second week I started not feeling the best and then when I started, right before I started ovulating, it was like a Wednesday and I didn't feel good. I got a really, my stomach was upset. I got really sick to my stomach. I, I got really sick to my stomach. I didn't feel good. I got this horrible headache and like, it was like my body was just shutting down. I got this migraine and it was so bad. So I had to go home from work. I laid down, I felt better. That weekend I went to my parents' house. That weekend I went to help my grandmother. <laughs> keep looking up to remember. Um, I went to help my grandmother clean up her basement. And she she wanted me to help her go through stuff because I think I was the only person that wasn't gonna throw everything out. And so, but I ended up with some really cool stuff for my grandma. She's the cutest thing ever. She's 91, 100% Italian. And I'm named after her and it's just, she's, she's, every, she's just everything. Had an okay day, it was kind of just blo really bloated, like just feeling super, just, like my stomach was just bloated. And it felt like it was like, like, I mean, like it was so distended, like distended, distended, whatever the word is. It was so blown up that I felt like I was just like, I was a balloon, like legit. Okay, so the only thing I'm wearing, spandex. Go to my parents' house, the second day I'm there, we go out to eat and I'm in the backseat of the car and I had a chicken, grilled chicken salad, like I'm always trying to eat decently. So I just had, we went to the Cracker Barrel, had like a grilled chicken salad. By the time we pulled up to our town, I had to have my dad pull over the car and I threw everything up, like projectile vomit, like my body like completely rejected whatever was it, whatever I ate. It wasn't fun, didn't feel good. I felt like I had the flu the, the rest of the night. Texting back and forth and she has me come in on Monday. Um, that month, cause I threw up on Saturday, didn't feel good Sunday. And then on Monday I came in and I was exhausted. And she tells me, she shows me a graph of like the stomach and she starts telling me that you, this is this what happened, this got overwhelmed, you were trying to get, you were ovulating, your body was trying to get rid of estrogen. So this and this happened and this shouldn't have happened. 
Meanwhile, my hair is breaking off. Um, it's thinning out. My eyelashes are falling out. My eyebrows falling out. I'm so bloated and my stomach just like, it felt like my stomach wasn't even digesting my food. Like it was just like sitting there. And I was so exhausted. And I was like, this just, this just doesn't feel right. Like this just doesn't feel right. So she's like, it's not gonna happen again. And I told her, I was like, I was, I was crying. I was like, I can't, I can't keep going like this. Like this is awful. She was like, you're fine. You're gonna be fine. Everything you need to detox and everything like that. And I'm like, okay, all right. You're the expert, so that's fine. Fast forward to a week later or that Friday or a week later, like a Friday. And I was texting her back and forth and I was having a lot more issues. Like, I, I just didn't understand why my stomach was, like my body had completely stopped. And she said that when I detox, she asked it to detox like a little bit and it detox a, a dumpster full. So she took me off, I think it was glutathione that made me really sick. It like, that, that'll, that's, that's a, that'll do a number on your liver. But I was texting her back and forth and, or I was emailing her back and forth and I just, really didn't like the way that I was talked to. I felt like I was being blamed for not getting better. Um, there was a little bit of blame that I didn't buy all of the correct vitamins and I didn't follow her instructions. I followed everything to a T and um, she was kind of blaming me for things. And then at the end of the email chain, she, I was like, well, when is this gonna get better? I wanna, like, I need to know, like, when should I expect to feel better? Cause I'm feeling, I feel worse. And she's like, I can't tell you when you'll be better. I can't give you the exact date. It's not even gonna be by Labor Day. How, like, how dare you think like, you're gonna be better by then? I kinda wanna know, like, or just be honest and be like, well, I had a patient that did this, but if this doesn't happen, then this should happen. Like I should, there should be some kind of like background to it. At the end of the email, I guess she was like, the last email I got from her, she said she was, going through the mountains and didn't have any reception, talk to you later or something like that. I'm not gonna lie, that pissed me off pretty bad because here is this person that I've trusted for years and years and years and did everything and I'm getting blamed for this. I've only asked for help. So I was kind of just like, what am I gonna do? Um, I cut back on the vitamins because it just didn't feel good. Like I didn't feel good on them. Like it wasn't, I was gaining so much weight. I was just gaining so much like fluid and my stomach hurt. I was, I, I didn't know what to do. So about a week and a half later, I went to, this was like June-ish, like mid June, later June, somewhere. I don't know, this sometime in June. Beginning of July, I went to a wedding and one of my, for one of my really good friends, did the makeup for it, um, really good friends. And one of my managers from, one of my former managers from the salon was there and she was talking, she looked fantastic. I don't know, she lost 30, 40 pounds. She looked younger, she was so happy. She said, I felt amazing. And she's like, listen, I have been going to a different naturopath and she had gone to Tina previously, but she said she quit going because it was so expensive. She's like, for me, she said, my mother and I went and with all the supplements, she's like, it was 400 and some dollars. She's like, I can't, she's like, it's ridiculous. Like, I get it. She was like, I have this new natural path. You need to go to her. And she started going off about like what she did. She's like, I'm not spending a lot of money. She doesn't like to throw a lot of vitamins at you. Blah, 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 blah. They put in, I think Gina was on keto um, just because it worked really well for her. But Gina was having a lot of the, like some of the similar issues that I was having, but the doctor was able to resolve them. And Gina's like, Gina's like, I don't have depression anymore. I feel so much better. And I was like, okay. Now, meantime, I'm reading, I'm listening to an audiobook by Mel Robbins called The Five Second Rule. And it's not about, and she laughs because she's like, it's not about picking food off off the floor. She's like, it's about not giving your body that second chance to like keep second guessing and keep upsetting yourself or going back into old habits. You go five, four, three, two, one, and you react. And after everything that had led up to that and how upset I was at how I was kind of treated. So the next morning I woke up, that was a Saturday. The next morning I woke up, I sent Tina an email and I said, I'm, um, thank you for your services. I'll be moving on. Um, that Monday I called and I got an appointment for the following third, for that Thursday, but I, in, um, for the new 
naturopath. She's a chiropractor, but she also has been doing nutrition for over 30 years. So she has a lot of experience. And it, it seemed it seemed right. Like everything seemed right to be doing this. So I broke up with her. She was surprised, whatever. That Monday, so I ran and got the paperwork and had that done. She's like, well, you have to wait till next week. And I was like, I, I legit can't wait till next week. <laughs> like I need help. So I had all my papers on Thursday. I left super early and wouldn't you freaking know there was a wreck. I, to explain how angry and road rage I was just trying to get this appointment, I looked up and I was like, am I like not supposed to go to this appointment? Like, is that, am I not supposed to get better? It was bad. It was, I was just like shaking my steering wheel. I'm like, I just need to get to this appointment. I can't wait. So I call Rick's like, my husband's like, call. So I call and I'm like, I'll be there. I might be a few minutes late. There's a wreck. The, uh, the front desk, the front desk reception, it was super nice. She's like, take your time, get here whenever you can. She's like, we'll have your appointment. You'll be, everything's fine. The doctor will still see you. I'm like, okay. So we get to the appointment. I have all my paperwork. I go back and the doctor is like the cutest person in the entire world. I think she's like five foot, maybe like 85 pounds. I don't know. She's just really tiny. And um, she just has such a good spirit about her, which was really comforting too. So I walk into the office. Oh, I sit down and she walks. I, I sit down in the, the room and she walks in the office and I was PMSing. I have, was late, which I hate being late for anything. Just makes me more anxious. My anxiety had been so bad and my depression was so, so bad. So I remember giving her my paperwork and sitting down and just telling her, I'll do anything you say. Please help me. I was like, I, I don't know what to do. I don't feel good. I don't know where to go. I was like, but I know you helped Gina. I know you helped this other girl. Please. I was like, I can't live, like, I can't do this. And it was really funny. The first thing she, the first thing she said to me, she looked at my chart and I had all this stuff on it. And she's like, you got a lot of stuff going on, don't you? <laughs> And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I do. And she's like, you're gonna be fine. And she's like, this isn't anything crazy. She's like, you're gonna be fine. So we went through all of my background. I showed her some of the blood work I had. She's like, okay, she's like, this is nice. You know, she was super, she was so receptive of everything and it just felt right. She felt like she actually, you know, cared about feeling better, you know, me feeling better. And she was so cute. She's like, I have a couple patients that need a little extra TLC. She's like, you're one of them. And that's okay. She's like, we're gonna, you're gonna get better. Oh, she also does like weight loss. She does a lot of nutrition for weight loss too. And she was like, we're not doing any weight loss right now. She's like, we have to get your body calmed down before we can do anything. She's like, we tried that. She's like, your body is not gonna respond to it and you're gonna get upset again. I was like, okay. So what she does is she has, she is a natural path. She's not a doctor doctor she does something called muscle testing. And what that means is she does, she has you push on her and how do I say this? You sit with your arm, like I sat with my arms straight up, I was laying down and as she touches, and she, you're pushing against her, you're kind of pushing against her. And as she touches different points of your body, like where things are, if your arm goes down, it means that part is weak or it needs a little bit of help. I know it sounds insane, but the practice is really, really great, especially if someone actually knows how to use it correctly and is in tune to be able to use that. And the whole theory is, is like, if you have something extended and you're pushing against it and some, and there's, and you're, something hurts, your body's gonna close in on itself to try to, you know, to try to protect itself. So that's what she kind of does. We went through a few things. She gave me very, very minimal, very, very minimal, like, supplements i think i spent i spent like nothing on supplements and she's like i need you back next week because i gotta make sure that this is evening out she's like your body is insane I'm like okay but before i left i was like have you treated people like me have you have you and she like slapped me and she was like she's like she's like you're gonna be fine christina you're gonna be fine don't worry about it so that is who i've been seeing since you know, that was like mid to early July. By my birthday, my birthday's late July. By my birthday, I was having really bad just depression about everything just because looking back at how, what happened to me and how I feel like I wasted those six years, six and a half years. So I, 
it was just really hard for me. I, it was the first time I didn't even care about my birthday and usually I'm like birthday month, birthday week, birthday coffee, birthday cake, birthday food, birthday pizza. But um, I just didn't care. That was hard. Um, but I went back to her the following week and then I've gone every two weeks and she's been kind of adjusting and my body has definitely been chilling out. She found out that I have a bacterial infection in my stomach, which we're still working on. And then I went on vacation, which she's like, enjoy vacation. I'm not going to have you do your diet. We'll do it after you're done. I'm like, okay. So I went to her on September 5th and that was the weight loss. The diet that she gave me, it's like a healing kind of like keto, low carb kind of thing going on. It almost reminds me a little bit of the AIP diet, which is the autoimmune paleo diet, which I've kind of done before, hate it. I don't know, well, you know, it, it is what it is. I tried that, but I went too crazy last weekend and I had to go back in on Monday and she was like, Christina, now. She's like, you know so much about, you know more about nutrition than most people walking through this door. And I asked her, I was like, how bad is it when you talk to some people? She's like, some people don't even know what a macronutrient is. A macronutrient is fat, carbs, and protein, just so you know, just so you know. But she's like, I have people that walk in the door and are drinking like quad shots four times a day with extra sugar and caramel. And she's like, I don't want you on sugar. She's like, sugar will disrupt the hormones. It'll mess up your stomach. No gluten, which is what I normally do anyways. I don't have a problem with that. We kind of adjusted a few things and she's like, your blood sugar, my blood sugar was so bad. Like I was falling asleep. I felt like crap. She's like, your blood sugar is, this is this, it tells me that your blood sugar is really, really bad and that you're gonna become insulin resistant, which actually would be type two diabetes. She's like, your body needs to stop being so carb dependent and we have to wean you off of that and get your body back into a better, healthier state so that your blood sugar stays stable and your insulin's not messed up or anything like that. She's like, that's a, that's a huge thing that we need to work on. So instead of, so I'm just doing three meals a day with two snacks but I'm making sure that I'm doing like a 12 hour fast. So if I eat breakfast at 6.30, I eat dinner by 6.30, and then I don't eat for the rest of the day and I don't eat till the morning. And then she's like, once you feel better, start going to seven o'clock in the morning to 6.30. And then, you know, so on. She's like, just do that. I went and saw her on Monday and then I go back this following Monday, this following Wednesday. That's kind of what's been going on. We went away on vacation. I got so dehydrated. Super, super sick. <laughs> Cause we went to Florida. So, but you know that I, through a lot of this, like I know that I'm not like super heavy, but for my body, I know that I have a good bit of weight that needs to come off in order for me to feel better. And here's the catch 22. I need to feel, I need to be healthier to lose weight, but also I need to lose weight so that I'm healthier. Cause I don't know if you, I mean, just a quick tip, you know, if you have more, fat on your body, a little bit more weight. It can actually mess up your estrogen more. Um, it can actually mess up your blood sugar a little bit more and make you more prone for that. So it is really vital that I do get some weight off of me. Did I feel like giving up? Um, about a thousand times. I don't know. I don't think it, it was basically my husband that's been keeping me going because I don't, I don't, it's so hard. And then you know, I have Instagram and I try to do like social media and stuff like that. And I had to back away from it because I just, self image, you know, it's so hard to, they, it was interesting. Joe Rogan did an interview with Elon Musk and they were talking about how Instagram causes depression because you see this perfectness and this happiness and you compare yourself to it. And they always talked about comparison is the thief of joy. Thomas Jefferson, I think said that. And I posted that the other day, but I just, I think the heart at like, I guess with the whole thing about this whole video, the second update is not just like me drinking up with like me moving to another natural path. It's just kind of about, not just about getting healthy, happy with who you are, but knowing that you can do better, but what you do is enough. Know that you're worth enough to feel better and to do something. Um, about it um, if you aren't healthy enough um, if you you know just know that you are worthy enough to to take care of yourself and to put that time and effort in but yeah no one's perfect no one's Instagram social media everything is amazing oh, life is great that doesn't exist 
everybody has ups and downs. I think the biggest thing is you have to realize that no one has like this perfect glamorous life. And that what you have you really need to treasure and be thankful for and grateful that you have food on the table, roof over your head, friends and family, and amazing husband. I guess I'm gonna end it there. I mean, but that's kind of what's been going on. Um, if you, I try to be as inspirational as I can, but I mean, I've just had some really dark days and sometimes it's really hard to lift others up when you don't feel that good. Sometimes you get to cry a couple times and, and that, that helps, but I think it's, I, I think it's gonna be better. Um, I'm already down a few pounds too, so that kind of makes me really happy. My stomach feels a lot better, digestion's a lot better, so that, that makes me feel really better. Um, that gives me a little bit more hope with everything, so I'm just gonna keep rambling. That's just what this video is about. Um, anyways, I hope that I hope this helps you in some way. I hope, if you guys, uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free. Um, I do update a lot on my Instagram, um, on my Instagram, so you're welcome to follow me on there. I'll leave my Instagram uh, name is down there. It's just Coffee Before Beauty. Not that hard. If you want to follow me for anything or talk to me a little bit about what's going, what you're going through, I'm down with that. You can DM me on Instagram. That's fine. Or comment below. That's fine. I'll talk to you there too. Better days are coming. Um, I have a lot of things that I want to be doing in the very near future. I'm just waiting on about one thing and then I think I'm going to, I think things are just going to go off and be amazing. So. Thank you again so much for watching this. Um, I appreciate you taking your time. And um, I hope you have an amazing day.